Welcome to Fat CJ's. Cat's Garage. CJ's. No, Fat Cat's Garage. CJ. It's Fat Cat's it's Garage. CJ's Garage. It's Fat Cat's Garage. CJ's Garage. It's my channel. Who cares? <coughs> Welcome to Fat Cat's Garage. Yeah. Today we have a 2013 Ford F-150. It's got the 3.5 Eco turbos. CJ's Garage. Wow, that was a minute late. So today what we're doing is laying down in the bed. So I just got my motorcycle jacket out here because it's comfy. But actually, we're going to take off the high pressure fuel pump off the uh, front. I got two codes. It was a P008. And a P0017, uh, I think it was, 08 and 17. And um, we're going to hope this $200 park is going to fix it. Uh, I got it off Rock Auto before you go. But like, no, dude, it's 550 I do know it's 550 part, but I got it on Rock Auto. Um, I, we are not supported by Rock Auto, but it helps. It would be nice. It would be nice, but no. So we got the uh, part... And uh, we're going to, hopefully this fixes it, we're going to put this in and drive it and get on the freeway and hopefully it spools up better because the symptoms I was having, this is my vehicle, was it takes longer to start, <clears throat> takes a while, the spool up is lagging, um, and it just died. Uh, yeah. And the other symptom is it, it just wouldn't start. It just... You turn the key, just it just constant, rock, 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 nothing. And you're like, whoa, you need to slow down trying to start, buddy. So you have to turn the key off because uh, it's uh, you know electronic. So um, then the other symptom is it will start up after cool down. I came uh, back home after work one day thinking it was the next day. And I was like, oh, yeah, see if it starts. It starts, you know, rock, 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 rock. Like, okay, so it does hesitate still. So we're thinking that this is going bad and uh, we're gonna do this uh, high pressure fuel pump today. So, here we go. Mr. Uh, Cody's in there. So what are you doing first? Taking this fuel line off. All right, and how do you do it? <laughs> well, you got this little blue clip here. Yeah. You stick a flat head in here and you just kind of pop it and this pops up. Yeah? And Did you get the rag ready to <clears throat> catch the gas? No. Oh. Very little came out. Anyway, okay. and then you pinch it together and push it down, and then you just bloop. Bloop. There you go. One down. And this should just... There's a button you push. Where's the button? I don't know. Figure it out. It's on there. It should be on the side, just like any old sensor. <sighs> Smells like gas. Don't just pull it out. You gotta, I got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, oh. button on the bottom. Oh, you just... Yeah, it's on the bottom. All right. Let me see if I can get this. Two down. God, this looks like it's going to hurt my So is this a 17? Yeah, 17 millimeters. Oh. What? That one sprayed. Well, it's the high pressure side, ain't it? Probably. Yeah, it is. It's the high pressure side. So you're going to get a little spray off. Just a little. A little quick little pss. You know, like you're letting a little air out of the tire. All right. And then he said that just chills there. And you get your handy dandy ratchet. You're using a 10 mil? 10 millimeter. Break it loose. <clears throat> I broke this one loose earlier. Twist out by your, your uh, dick fingers. Yep. Oh, you said just take this flathead and just kind of pop it out. Yeah, you kind of got to pry it out. Oh, I hate my try, dude, but it's, it's, it's an expensive part. It is an expensive part. There you go, wiggle, wiggle, little pickle. <laughs> and that's it. There you go. <clears throat> All right. It's got oil on it. Yeah, it goes into the motor. Oh, shit. 
Watch out, guys. Uh, we'll come out. Yeah. All right. So, left hand new part, right hand old part. New part, old part. All right, if you turn it around, there's a spring. And uh, we're going to be, uh, hopefully, that's, it uh, looks about right. New part going in. So, you see that little piston looking thing? That's going to push that spring up oh, and down. I got you, bro. Yeah, so it's in the same position down, so that's good. That's what we was wanting, hopefully. <laughs> so we got lucky, and that's fine. Alright, easy enough. You know what the torque pound pressure is on it? Uh, tight. Exactly. Just let the uh, viewers know that we're going to do tight, not work. The work is tight. Because you got to remember, you're putting a steel bolt into aluminum piece, so you don't want to go too far because you'll strip it and then Jerry will kick my ass all right so that looks good all right then you come over here and you, you hit bloop, and then you you know you take and move this hose out of your way because it's in the way and then you Do that, boom. That is now secured. Okay, I'm gonna say that's tight because there's really no way I can really get, yeah, get it. So. All right, well, you <clears throat> sit here. I'm gonna start it and see if any a gas leak. That was a lot quicker. Well, yeah, there was no gas in that high pressure. All, All right. right. So let's clean up everything and go take test it for it. driving on the highway. Well, I'm gonna call my uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call the uh, tow truck driver and let him know what we're doing, <laughs> just in case. So uh, we'll be back. Thanks for watching Fat Cat CJ's. Go. It's Fat Cat. It's CJ's. Either way, it's my channel. But have you seen this video here? What about this video here? I like that video. We're funny as shit. We are. <laughs> yeah, if you've already watched these videos, rewind this one. Do it. It's amazing. Yeah. Learn something. Yeah, be fab guys like us. Fat guys? Don't tell them about it. <laughs> yeah. Bye.